Hey DOT community, this is Zalan coming at you with a Titans Unleashed All-Star Edition Fusion Event video. Of course, as always, this is a typical Fusion Event where we're getting 50% Titan XP on top of our normal uh, Fusion XP that we, we get. Uh, but the thing is, if you do fuse class to class, you will al you always get a bonus for doing so. And with the extra 50% uh, Titan XP on top of it, it does make it quite significant. Uh, of course, that's the way I prefer to uh, do all my fusions is class to class. Uh, because I don't like to lose a lot of XP in, in, the, uh, in the fusions. Uh, but besides from that, of course, let's get into the fusions. Because I have saved a good amount of food to be able to do all these fusions from over this last weekend. Now, of course, my choice Titan for the Guardians right now to fuse up is going to be Valorn. So, I do have some Titans that I do still have to keep for certain collection purposes. But we're going to get as many possible levels on Valorn in this fusion event. So, let's start off with this. Now, of course, as always, please let me know what you were able to accomplish in this fusion event. I always like to see that in the comments. I know some people fuse like me, class to class. Some do not. Some typically focus on maybe one, two, or three titans, something like that. Like, oh, I maxed one and worked on another two situation. Do need we can get rid of the Karakor and let's see and the Katashas. Oh yeah, we got all these Herricks. Alright. Maybe, just maybe. Let's see what those four level twelve Herricks will do after this, but just maybe we'll be able to get up to 40. We'll see. Nope. Soon enough, though. So that does it for the Guardian Fusion that I had. Paladins. Of course, my Corthan's at 58, and I have the new Corthan at 1. Both of their resists are good. At least good, uh, opposite enough that they can both uh, defend lands. Of course, I'm not looking for them to defend garrisons, but for them to defend lands. But Astaroth, definitely, I think he might even have better lightning physical poison and fire and that along with health and armor so i'm actually going to be using all my paladin food to continue my growing my astaroth as best i can instead of the uh the new corthan just because i think this astaroth is way better actually all right so here we go let's see the Malix or the Omathi. So we're going to get Astaroth to 20 pretty quickly. Now with the rest of Korthan's one and a half levels that he has to go, I'll either use him in an event at some point or another, which is most likely what will happen. Because the developers like to use Corthan in events or a paladin 
whatever they want to do. Wait, there's probably still a little bit more to do in Paladins. Not a terrible amount, though. Alright. Um, we can get, take the 25. Molina. Yeah, these 12s really help you. And a lot of these level 12s I got during the Theaters of War events. So always make sure that you're doing your monuments during Theaters of War events. They make a big difference when your when your fusion events come along. All right, I think we still got two more down there. I'll throw Astrid in too. Yeah, we'll throw a level ten Runa in. I got enough runas. Nice. So twenty-five and a half for Astroth. Some good power of infusion. Alright, over to the champs. See what's up with them. I know I'm still working on my Wukong. And we got a, some pretty big fusion for Wukong. Because we're going to throw in my Flame Hide that I got recently. Not because that he has horrific skills, but because between two Flame Hides, I take the other Flame Hide over this one. And let's see, we're going to throw in the Karn, both Karns, and we're also going to throw in the level 1 tools. So here we go. Let's go some serious levels for Wukong, got him up to 40. Definitely going to see how much farther we can get him up there, though. Got Archer's damage. That might be that might be it. The only reason I say that is because I don't wanna I might have like one or two that I can throw in there, but really it's gonna cost a decent amount of food. Although there's just that little bit to get to I will wait. I'll get that later. On like a daily fusion that goes, you have to fuse just to get your dailies done. I'll get that level later. Just a little bit. All right, so on to infiltrators, of course. We're working on Ishkar because he's the best out of all the infiltrators that I have, including my Loki. So let's see what fusion food I got here. We got level 10 Cormac. Level 8 Noctis. 10 Herrick. Oh, this is going to be real easy. There we go. Infiltrator fusion done. <laughs> I did a lot of my preparatory, like, you know, small little fusions and all that stuff. And the combining fusions and everything else yesterday. So that's why it seems like, I, wow, where'd all my Titans go? So, yeah. All 
Nice. All right, on to Berserker Fusion, and then Ranger, and then we're going to wrap this all up. I hope everybody, of course, had a great fusion event, and got as far as possible with every Titan that you possibly could. All right, so for this one, of course, I know I've been working on Mesh, but Mesh is chilling at 20, but I've been actually going pretty crazy with Almoran, trying to get him actually leveled up. He can see an XP relic is on there because, yeah, I've been using all my XP relics on him. <laughs> Whenever I get a chance. So, because I really like his skills. Even though I really like my Thorhild skills too. It's hard. I have a lot of really good berserkers. And this is the only food I got. I actually got a crap ton of level 12 Garns in the monuments during TOW. But that's pretty much the only food that I would have been got I have gotten. Berserker food, that is. There is no two-star berserkers in the game. So, of course, this is pretty much <laughs> XP relics. And Garns, unless you get some three stars and stuff like that on a lot of them, you're not going to be getting too far, unfortunately. That's the one downside. Wait, if you want to stick to class to class fusion. But we're going to see about getting Almer into 20 here. Definitely going to get him 20. Let's throw the rest of the Garns in there. We're going to keep working on Almoran, of course. But yeah. It stinks when... Actually, I feel like the... the All the best... Like, skill-wise... Uh, titans that I have... Are uh, Berserkers right now. That I got that are relatively new in comparison to all the other Titans that I have, I should say. <laughs> Alright, so we got all Miranda 21, nice. So now we got an extra relic slot up there. Uh, of course, we got another skill unlocked now with the Grenadiers. So now we can stum start summoning them into battle, nice. So all Miranda's moving along nicely. And then, of course, at the tail end, we do have Rangers, which, of course, I am still working on Basathi. In comparison to all the rest of my rangers. Because, yeah. She's the best skilled uh, panther ranger that I have. So, definitely. And, of course, I'm still working on Calvarex, but I'm actually grinding with Calvarex. And he's at 51 now, as you can see. Let's see. What do we got here? We got Logu. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of food for Basathi. We got Logu. We got Sardews. There you go, Basathi over 40. Oh yeah, we got even more food after that. But thank goodness we still have enough food to make this all work. Get that Panther Critical up, as we like to see. And let's see, what else do we have to finish off the Ranger Fusion? Let's see, Adana. I guess we could take both of them, honestly. They're not in the collection. Laco. Oh, yeah. And then we got the level 12 Aerises. Woof! Good amount of them, so. All right, to 41. Yeah, because a lot of these... Like, for instance, Basathi, I have not really battled with Basathi almost at all. I'm just strictly fusing her up. I only battle with certain titans on a regular basis outside of events. And then other than that, I'm just fusing the rest of these Titans up. So that they could become what I would call playable in their 50s. Especially with higher troops. So let's go with Eris. And then we'll throw the other two in there. And that'll complete our fusion. So we got 42 and a half. One more 
fusion and I'll wrap everything up again here at the very end if you enjoyed the, the video feel free to slap the like button of course it always helps my videos and my channel and also too if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to subscribe because I come out with regular DOT content on a regular basis all right here we go nice so just a quick recap we got Valoran to 39 almost 40 we got Astroth to 25 we got Wukong to 40 Ishkar to 32. Omeran to 21. And Basathi to 42. Alright, DOT community. Don't forget, leave in the comments below what you think. Or what uh, what you how how far you got your Titans in the event. And also, too, I will see you tomorrow on the developers live stream, or today, if you're watching it later. And also, uh, I will have uh, either a uh, video or a live stream tomorrow for the DOT after show. We will see. So, all right, DOT community, thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you all again very soon.